hello everybody and welcome back to another video so today we are testing update 2020.40.3 and as any new update can have a completely new neural net well let's find out what has changed in this specific update with regards to autopilot behavior but before we jump into the video, if you want to help support the channel, please check out my web shop at the link below or in the description where you can find some cool t-shirts such as this one and other designs, of course, as well, some mugs and other items. I'm going to try to add new designs every few weeks to keep it interesting as well. So uh, check it out and thanks for your support. Now let's dive back into the video. As usual we have the Hillcrest as our first test point where I'm interested in when the lane markings are actually disappearing when we're going downhill. Now usually it goes a little bit to the left trying to find the center of the wider lane at that point but let's see if it sticks straight on and to the right. No. Again, the slightest deviation, nothing to be concerned about, but it is still very slightly hunting for the center of the road. It's hardly noticeable. You can see it in the video if you watch the hood as well, but um, it's very difficult to feel. You really have to pay attention to actually notice it. So um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's good already. Here we're coming up to that roundabout that it was almost able to tackle last time. Let's see if it slows down first. Yeah, it is slowing down. Hopefully no car coming from the left so I can let it do its thing. Oh, it's slowing way down. Okay, what's it doing? It's beeping, it's beeping. Oh. It's trying to follow that white line on the inside a little bit. So that is definitely a problem and we need that curb detection to understand the difference between that white line and the actual drivable space for that roundabout. The S-curve, will it slow down up front? No, it's again not slowing down. Going over the line and I need to intervene there as to not cause an accident. So yeah, that is still something that Tesla urgently needs to fix, that is slowing down before the curve. And it's not that it doesn't see the curve, it's uh, very clearly indicated. Oh, what's it doing? The, those were two small phantom brakes. But uh, yeah, so the curve is clearly visible. So it's still uh, kind of weird why it doesn't slow down there while it slows down in most other curves. Let's see if we can enter the highway on auto lane change here. Whoa, it slows way down, high curvature detected. It's not that high of a curvature. But let's see, it's doing the lane change. Only now accelerating to highway speeds. Yeah, and it is doing the lane change to the middle lane while the left lane is more than sufficient. That is also still something that I don't get why the Tesla is doing that. In most updates it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see how it might have improved the automatic exit taking. So we have a double exit here. Last time it was rather smoothly. Let's see how it fares today. Yep, that's okay. With a couple of small left-right corrections to find the center of the lane. That might be because the lane is starting to form only at that point. But it's not too exaggerated. Let's see how it does on this exit here. A little bit more aggressive move. Yeah, 
and the second correction to get in the actual exit. That is also something that still needs improvement. Our next test point is another double exit. Let's see if it continues on the left, starts turning in correctly as it should, or, and especially whether it will take the second exit without cancelling autopilot. So this is smooth, small correction again. It is taking the right side, okay, that's good. Oh, going to the outside here. Auto steer limited, so that's the UN ECE regulation again. There's a car behind me, so I can't really let it do its thing if it starts to freak out a little bit, but we'll see whether it will take the exit here. Yeah, it is blinking, it is going. Cool, yes. Thank you. It is taking the exit again. That's nice. It has been quite a while since that has worked. Nice. Oh, whoa, oh, it was breaking for the wrong light here. Wow, okay. Now by scrutinizing the video afterwards, I actually discovered that as soon as the car crosses the stop line or the stop light, it actually thinks that uh, the light in my lane was red. Now I'm thinking that that was because of the position of the sun and a reflection of the sun on the red glass of the light at that point. So at the final instant it actually said well this is a red light and not a green light and it slammed on the brakes even though it was too late to be able to stop. What I was actually going to test is whether it will adhere to the speed limit uh, but that was uh, a nice catch there. So 70 here, 50 in about 100 meters. Let's see if it slows down. It recognizes the sign, but it doesn't change my auto, spear, uh, auto steer speed. Oh, and that car is coming in my lane. That was a good catch by autopilot as well. It was coming a little bit in my lane to make that turn. The guy probably was thinking he drives a truck or something. Uh, and autopilot did not freak out. So yeah, it just reacted appropriately. Nice. Up ahead we had that phantom stop for the traffic light that is only applicable for the left lane that is turning onto the highway. Yeah, it's still going to stop for that. Yeah, I need to actually confirm that it's okay to continue here so that is probably a gps error where yeah it's applicable to this road but not exactly where i'm driving and up ahead we have that lane shift now since i have hardware 3 it's been really smooth where it takes both insides of the short turns in that lane shift now let's hope we can continue on and take it at 70 kilometers an hour so so far it's looking good oh it's going to break let's see how well it stops at the traffic light and first Yeah, that's, uh, that's good. It also seems to stop better at the stop lines. Instead of on the stop line, it's just before the stop line on most traffic lights. Still some room for improvement, of course, but uh, yeah, I like the way these little improvements keep coming. Now let's see if I can accelerate here. Okay, it's going to break a little bit for the truck, so going with it. Yeah, that was really, really smooth. And of course, we have our final test point here, where the lane markings disappear altogether. Now let's see what it does. Oh, hunting a little bit for the center of the road, and then going back. 
let's see what it does here it's immediately going back to the side so that's okay it's just the first part that I thought it was a single lane and we see here slowing down okay what will it do here it will just break behind that car mm -hmm. So I can't really continue my test for uh, the rest of this section. All right, time for another conclusion. What do I think about this update? I think that this update has a lot of small improvements. Some are more noticeable than others. Like for example, it is now again able to take that double exit from the highway without freaking out. Uh, and I think that is uh, a very good point and it was also really smoothly the way it actually did that so uh, thumbs up for that one Tesla now on the other hand there are still a lot of things that need work like for example that ghost traffic light um, that is something that will need to be addressed as well as of course the traffic lights uh, usage for the B pillar cameras but as said that will probably come together with the big rewrite that has been promised where the lane markings disappear that is not so good it is uh, going back to the side a lot quicker now um, that is a good point but the first half where the lane markings were still visible it's hunted for the center of the road instead of staying on the right side of the road now concerning the roundabouts well at the moment i do not expect it to handle that specific roundabout at all i was very amazed by how far it got the previous time but it is a tiny roundabout and it is going to be difficult to get that uh, working correctly but what I mentioned before is also something that is necessary. The white line that is painted on the inside of that roundabout is not the drivable space. There was a little bit of a curb next to it and that should be detected as the drivable space so the car can go round in a circle instead of trying to cross it on the side. But again, I'm looking for the ideal roundabout to actually test this feature to see where it will almost make it so that maybe in a next update it will actually make it all the way around that would be really interesting to see but in my area i haven't yet found one that is uh, at that level yet so the hunt continues oh yeah and as i mentioned in the video also the traffic light detection has gotten a little bit better not in the sense that it is able to detect more lights or more to the side or whatever but especially at night the orange light is better detected now sometimes it was considered to be a red light and then it went uh, orange red orange red orange red and this is a lot more stable now an orange light is actually an orange light so there you have it as i said tiny improvements but uh, tesla just keep them coming and if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos and for now thanks for watching see you guys in the next one bye bye